Google and the Department of Defense are building an AI-powered microscope to help doctors spot cancer. Referred to as an augmented reality microscope, ARM, this AI tool is still in its early stages and not yet employed in patient diagnoses. However, preliminary research demonstrates its potential utility, particularly for pathologists lacking access to second opinions. Currently, there exist 13 arms, one of which is situated at a MITRE facility near Washington, D.C. MITRE, a non-profit organization, collaborates with government agencies to tackle technological challenges. Researchers at MITRE are actively evaluating the arms' capabilities and addressing potential issues for pathologists in clinical settings. The arm closely resembles a standard high school biology microscope but is interconnected with a computer tower housing AI models. When a glass slide is placed under the microscope, the AI outlines the location and severity of cancer. Pathologists observe a bright green outline through the eyepiece and on a separate monitor. Additionally, the AI generates a black and white heat map on the monitor, depicting the cancer boundary in pixelated form. Patrick Minot, a senior engineer at MITRE, highlighted the AI's seamless integration into pathologists' workflows. This user-friendliness is a deliberate design choice to address workforce shortages among pathologists, exacerbated by an aging population. Pathologists play a critical role in healthcare, and their overburdened caseloads pose significant risks to patients if vital details are missed. Efforts to digitize pathology workflows have emerged to enhance efficiency, but this transformation introduces complexities. The storage requirements for digitized slides can be substantial, rendering the infrastructure and costs prohibitive for smaller healthcare systems. The ARM is not intended to replace digital pathology systems but offers an alternative approach. Health systems can acquire the ARM for approximately $90,000 to $100,000. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to support independent news.